what's up, it's Matt in Japan. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing a little something different. I have a upgrade kit for the Transformers Legacy Generation Select DK2 guard, which we have right here. And here is the upgrade kit here. But before we, uh, before I show you off the contents here, I just want to show you the pictures of uh, what it does and what it looks like. Uh, so I have some pictures here. I got this off of amazon.jp where I bought it. So it does come with some arm fillers here, which uh, fills in the insides of the arms. It also comes with some fillers here for the uh, inner elbow there. And then also it does, uh, looks like there's a couple pieces you have to put together. Um, and there are new feet for the back. Uh, there's new feet. And also when it transforms into vehicle mode, you don't see the ugly feet sticking out, which is right here. Uh, so this is what it looks like. And that is what it looks like with the upgrade kit. So very cool. I really love the cleaner look in the back there. I always hated that those feet sticking out the back there. So, um, and then in robot mode, that's kind of what it looks like uh, with the new feet. Uh, it looks, just looks so much better. And that is about it. And again, just a closer look at the front and the backs of the feet and a whole lot of Chinese writing that I can't read. Um, and then it just shows the, how the arm fillers look. So all in all, uh, uh, looks like a pretty decent upgrade kit. So let's pause and we'll see the contents. Okay, so let's see what's inside the box here. Um, and again, I bought this off of amazon.jp and there's no, I don't really know what company or who makes it or anything. Um, it's made in China, obviously, there's a lot of Chinese writing and it says YYW-12A. I'm assuming that's the uh, the make or the uh, the model type or whatever. Um, and then there's some sort of logo there. Uh, there is a QR code on the back, so if you wanna pause and take a, take a quick pic of that, uh, you might be able to be linked to their website and find it, but uh, you can find it pretty easily. So anyways, this comes in this little box and let's take a look at what's inside. So there is the upgrade kit there. And let's just take a look. Can never get these little baggies open. Okay, so let's just dump these out here. And let's see what we have. I'm really curious what the uh, what the feet pieces look like. So there is the feet pieces. They're all done, you know, they're all 3D printed, but wow, some nice detail going on there. I really like the, uh, the way the black came out. You know, you see the little windshield wipers there, but uh, there's some nice molded detail actually, so. Um, it, it feels pretty good. I, I've had some upgrade kits in the past where I think I did one for Huffer and God, that was, it was awful. They kept breaking and had to glue it and stuff. These feel pretty solid, but I'm still going to be super careful with it. Um, so anyways, that is the feet pieces there. That's how they look. So it's done in a sort of very matte black. Really like the way those look. And it does come with one piece here, which is painted in some nice silver paint right there. Uh, and then I'm not really sure, um, you know, looking at the directions too, I'm not really sure how this, this, uh, integrates into it, but I'll, I'll hopefully figure it out. And then, um, these two pieces, I guess they're on a sprue here. You just kind of have to break them apart. Um, these are the arm fillers, I'm assuming for the inside of the arm. Again, some really nice molded detail there. And these are the little elbow fillers there. So again, just 3D printed, all in black. Uh, and the plastic feels, it feels like a, you know, a sort of matte finish, but it feels pretty good. It feels pretty solid. It doesn't feel really cheap at all. So anyways, that is what is included. And uh, yeah, let's pause again and let's get into this DK2 Guard upgrade kit. All right, so we got DK2 Guard all transformed into his robot mode. And let's start with the arm fillers first. And uh, originally I thought it was the arm filler for right here. Actually, it's the actually back of his arm. So it's not really so, you know, it's not really noticeable. Like you, you know, you pose him like this and that's the elbow joint there. So it's actually the back of the arm. Um, but you know, any gap filler or, you know, any gap fillers are okay in my book. So basically uh, let's just take this piece here and that is just gonna fit right inside there. And let's see what kind of fit it is. It should just snap right in there and uh, I probably have the wrong piece here. <laughs> um, and yeah, I do. So anyways, you just put that, snap that right in like that and it should just fit right in. And actually a nice snug fit. So anyways, that's how that looks. So yeah, it does it does clean up very nice. And then uh, the other side of the elbow right here, so you have this little, uh, you have this little arm, this little piece right here. And I'm assuming, let's see here, I kind of have to take a look at the picture here. It's not very clear how this goes in, but I'm assuming it goes like this because that's the mushroom joint right there. So I'm assuming it just goes down in that little hole like so, like that. 
yeah, I think that's that's about it. So let's see if we can still bend the elbow there. Uh, yeah. So anyways, that is how that side looks. So that is the uh, that is the upgrade kit there on the underarm. And actually, the color matching is pretty nice. Um, this it's a little bit glossy here, and it's a little bit matte finish here. But uh, the actual multi detail and uh, it fits really nice. And then the arm, uh, the inside of the elbow, is uh, filled in right there. So that is one arm done. And let's see here. Let's get the other arm done. Just the same. So we'll get our piece here for the back of the arm and. Again, just fits in like so. Let's try and get a close up here. And I love I love kits that have just a nice snug fit. So let's see, let's get that in there like that. And really nice and snug. So again, some just detail of the, the uh, molded detail in there. And I really think the color matching is pretty good on this. And one more for the inside of the elbow there. This one's a little bit tricky because it's so small, but basically just gonna fit that piece in there and then whoop, just pretty much push it in. And yeah, these are a nice snug fit, like I said. So anyway, that is the arms all done. And just to turn the arms around so you can just get a better look at how they look. Um, again, it's the back of the arms. It's not like, you know, you're really gonna look at it from the back, but I don't know, it's, uh, it's something. So it actually does a nice uh, job of filling those parts in. So anyways, let's pause one more time and we'll get those feet changed out. All right, now for the DK2 guard feet upgrade. Um, again, this he doesn't really bother me in robot mode. His feet are, are totally fine in robot mode. Uh, they're big and they're, you know, they, they make him stand really well. Uh, they give him support and all that. It's only when he's transformed into vehicle mode that they stick out like a sore thumb. And it's always bothered me. The design has always bugged me how they just stick out and it looks awful. So anyways, enough blabbering about that. Let's get these god awful feet taken off and put his new feet on. So basically these just kind of soft tab into place. They're really super easy to take off. So they're just gonna come off like so. So see you later, old feet. And we're gonna take the new feet here. And again, you see the uh, tab there. And I'm just gonna be super careful with this. Um, again, I've had things break on camera with upgrade kits, so I've, I've not had a good experience. Um, I'm just gonna really ease that in. And, okay, that's in, I think. Yep, that looks like it's working. And so there's one foot done, and the other foot here. Um, yeah, I think it was the, um, the UFO upgrade kit for Huffer. Uh, God, that thing was a piece of crap. It broke on me on camera, and I had to like super glue it, and oh my God. It was a mess. So anyways, wow, that was way too easy. So there is the new feet for DK2 guard. And again, the color matching isn't the greatest, um, you know, because it's 3D printed and it's a real matte black, it does sort of clash with the sort of glossy, uh, you know, paint and plastic that they use here, but it's not that bad um, compared to his old feet night and day. So anyways, let's get this guy transformed and let's see what his alt mode looks like. Okay, so I realized something uh, with the back of the van mode. Uh, basically, you have to take those feet off. They don't just transform. Uh, I, for some reason, I thought you could just transform it and it would, uh, it would all fit together. But basically, I have the legs spread out here and I'll show you uh, what happened. So basically, the feet are like this. So these parts come off. So you wanna take these parts off like that. And then you wanna take this one and put it on this side. So I'll separate them here. And then you want to take this one and put it on this side. So basically what you want to do is you want to take this piece, turn it around. And then this round part where that peg hole is, is going to fit into here. So it just plugs right in very nice. It's a very nice snug fit. So there you have the right side of the back of the van like that. And then this side too. So basically you're going to take that where that port is, and then you're going to plug it in where that sort of half circle is. And again, it plugs in very nicely. And um, I tried doing this uh, when it was all transformed, but I think this is probably going to be a lot easier. So uh, again, that, that sort of soft tab is just going to go right into there. Like so. And mine is a little bit, uh, looks like it's maybe a little bit loose there. Probably have to tighten that just a little bit. But for the most part, I think that's good. And let's see, it's on this side again, getting this tab to go in there. Hopefully it goes in. Again, being super careful and hitting my camera. And that is the back of that. So anyways, getting this guy back together, just making sure everything, what was that? 
Something just fell off. What was that? Okay, that was the top of this part. So just plug that back in. So a little bit, a um, little bit of kind of parts forming here in the back. A um, little bit finicky here, but not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So we're gonna try and just clean this guy up a little bit. <laughs> there goes that part again. And we're back, sorry about that. Uh, that was quite a mess there. Um, it was a little bit finicky. Uh, you basically have to kind of just take them apart uh, from the back and fit those doors on. Uh, but I finally got them on and let's take a look. They look really nice. It's just night and day without those big honking feet on the back. And again, uh, it's not too bad in vehicle mode. You get that, you know, again, that sort of matte finish, but uh, it actually blends in pretty nicely. It actually blends in not too bad. Again, you know, it is sort of a glossy finish here with a more matte finish, but I think all in all, just the overall look, the aesthetic, oh God, night and day. Just really love the back. You get some nice molded detail with the uh, back windshield wiper there. Um, there's a little bit of a scratch going on there, but not bad at all. It actually does come with um, five millimeter peg holes back here for blast effects or whatever. So uh, he actually isn't finished yet. He does come with these silver painted sort of uh, fender pieces. So there's a uh, tab right there that just slots in that hole right there. And let's just see how easy these go in. Pretty easily, that just fits right in here. I will say one thing, this kit is, uh, it, everything fits really, really nicely. So I will give it that. Uh, way better than uh, the kit I mentioned before. And just making sure those are in there. And I'm not sure if these actually line up. Um, let me just check the, uh, let me just check the picture. I'm not sure if those silver pieces are supposed to line up or not. Um, in the picture, it looks like they line up, um, but mine is not really lining up. So, which isn't a big deal. I mean, I think it's, I think it's close enough. I, Maybe if I squeeze it together, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. So there's a little bit of a gap right in between there, but really that doesn't bother me. And actually the silver paint on this is actually pretty nice. So um, yeah, that is the DK2 Guard upgrade kit. So uh, you get the arm fillers, the elbow fillers, and this back here, and it just makes it look so much uh, sleeker and just you know more streamlined, and you don't have those big honking feet on the back so very very cool you get some nice molded detail as well you get the five millimeter ports as well so yeah all in all i would give this upgrade kit a 10 out of 10. it's solid i didn't feel like i was gonna break it um and i think it does a fantastic job does what it sets out to do so anyways this has been matt in japan for the dk2 guard upgrade kit thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe have a great day